what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? In a recent interview with a Buffalo, New York newspaper, convicted murderer O.J. Simpson, that's right, he didn't get convicted. He beat the case. I mean, he really beat the case. He was acquitted. Had this to say about Colin Kaepernick in regards to disrespecting the flag. I think Colin made a mistake. I really appreciate what he was trying to say. I thought he made a bad choice in attacking the flag. I grew up at a time when deacons were in the KKK. I don't disrespect the Bible because of those guys. The flag shouldn't be disrespected because of what cops do. The flag represents what we want America to be. He went on to basically say that Colin pushed his luck. When he did it the first time, I thought, well, you took a gamble and I give you credit. But it was him continuing to do it where he made the biggest mistake. I'm a firm believer in doing what you think is right, but I would always stand for the flag. I'll always stand for the flag, but I don't mind cutting the motherfucker up. Check out what he said about Donald Trump. The one thing I can say about Donald Trump is the Donald is fun. Speaking uh, of the possibility that Trump could have bought the Buffalo Bills, Trump said, I mean, OJ said, well, for a dude, and I consider myself a dude, Donald is a man's man. He would be a fun guy, but that's hanging out. He said he wouldn't make a good owner if Buffalo started losing. Trump would basically fall apart. He called Donald Trump a man's man. Let me share something with you. I've been told that I'm a man's man many times. And I have yet to see any commonalities between myself and that despicable orange clown by the name of Donald Trump. You see, I got this little thing called principles, morals, values convictions, loyalty. This dude don't possess those attributes. He just don't. Now, some of you get excited when you hear about somebody having money. And if somebody have money, that's good enough for you because you ain't about nothing. You don't stand for nothing. Donald Trump is a horrible human being. And I say human being with caution because he's closer to some type of foreign object or animal. He's heartless. He is the reason that America is so divided. Can't get out of his own way because of his beliefs. He believes in separation. He believes in greed, getting all he can for himself. And his friends, his friends, that's more like uh, incidental. It's really about him, but if he have to, somebody else have to eat because of him and his greed, then so be it. But he's really looking out for himself. Look at all the people he's fired that, ha that he picked to be in his cabinet. He picked these people, but yet, He's axed them off one at a time. I mean, almost what, half of his cabinet has been replaced already? And he hasn't even been in office for 18 months? He has no loyalty whatsoever. And he's firing all of those people to save his own skin because he knows that the FBI is closing in. The investigation is closing in on him. So, yeah. Nothing like that dude. And O.J. Simpson, for all of y'all who trying to root for O.J., O.J. don't give a damn about y'all. 
he should have no refuge anywhere. Because you already know white, white folks don't give a damn about him, period. They don't like him at all. And that's just because of what he represents. Symbolism of a black man getting off for murdering some white people. So white folks don't like him for that. Love him as a football player, well, loved him as a football player. But as a human being right now, as a person, hate him to death. And he kissing their asses, trying to get some brownie points, talking about the damn flag. Man, fuck the flag. Real talk. He talking about what the flag is supposed to represent. No, he's, he's saying this is what, the flag represents what America is supposed to be. How about some reality? How about the flag being a reflection of what America is? Instead of just representing what it's supposed to be, how about America living up to the creed of the flag? How about we put some action behind those words? I told y'all OJ was a sellout a long time ago. I told you that he could not be trusted. The only time that he was able to, or uh, uh, was caught around a group of more than five black people at one time is for his family portrait. And before he got married to Nicole, and after he got busted on the murder charge. That's why I came out right away and I said what it was, man. The dude did it. He was a murderer. He is a murderer. And he got away with it. He a murderous sellout. Why would anybody want to support him? I don't know. The media will put a camera and a microphone in front of a dead dog and see what happens. I mean, it's absolutely pathetic. Only in America do people care about what a convicted murderer thinks about politics. Oh, my bad. That's right. They let him off. No more talk. What the haters talking about?